Hey guys, it's Jade from Boho Bookworm. It's Friday, that means it's time for Friday Reads. I'm busy working my way through two books at the moment, and the one I've been listening to on Audible for a couple of days now, and it's something very different from what I'm used to. If you know my channel and if you know me, you know that I love thrillers. But lately I've been kind of in the mood for fairy tale retellings, but something a little bit darker because Camp NaNoWriMo is coming up, and NaNoWriMo later this year, and I'm thinking about writing my very own dark fantasy fairy tale kind of book. So I asked you guys for some recommendations and The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert got recommended to me. I started it on Audible and at first I was so enthralled. I thought the beginning of the book was excellent. It's this mother and daughter in their relationship. They've got this really bad luck. The, this, the main character, her grandmother wrote this super famous book that has apparently cursed them or something but it, it completely lost me like now it's just turned way too fantasy involved and somehow this girl has wound up going into this hazelwood place that she was told to stay away from and she's got a retreat of her mother and i don't know it's all i don't know i've only got about 20 minutes left of the audiobook so I really should just continue it and finish it and hopefully it all kind of wraps up and I understand what's happening. But for now, I must say, I was really impressed with it in the beginning, but unfortunately it's just fallen a little bit flat for me. And the other book that I actually received yesterday from Hatchet is the brand new Louise O'Neill book, Almost Love. If you know my channel little, you know that her book, Asking For It, had a huge impact on me. It was an incredible novel. I just highly recommend it to absolutely everyone. It really raises awareness for victims of rape. This book, I think, is going to have just as much of an impact, if not more. The reason I say that is, this is, maybe to most people, it won't be as hard and emotionally charged as they found Asking For It, or even her more dystopian-based novels, such as Only Ever Yours. This is about a girl who has obsessive love. She'd fallen in love with this older man who had a son and she basically sacrifices absolutely everything in her life to be with him. One by one, her family is starting to get worried and they just think that something's really going on and why she's doing this to herself. And it all sounds way too similar to the relationship I had with this guy I was with in Spain. He was older, he had a son, he was extremely manipulating, and he's just an overall really bad person. I'm a few chapters into this now, and I must say that it is is—it is honestly, I, I can relate to it so much, it's almost spooky. It's not almost spooky, it's freaking spooky. Everything about this main character just, I can, it's amazing. You know, she, she feels like the ocean is the only place in the world that she can actually breathe. And even that, that small little bit in this book, I'm just like, God, I, I know her, she's me. Like, I, I love the way that she, Louise O'Neill, is just able to create these incredible characters that are so raw and so real. And I've heard that as the book goes along, you really don't like this main character, but I feel like I'm gonna have a huge soft spot for her because she's been through something very similar to what I've been through. Also, she's an artist and there's, a lot of stuff about art and art galleries in here and I have five years experience in an art gallery so in the art industry so it's just I just feel like this book was made for me basically this older man she's addicted to being desired by him and I didn't want to admit it but I think that's exactly what it was with this guy in Spain I was addicted to being desired by him because even though we lived together and we were together for over a year I wasn't what he wanted, he cheated on me with eight women and he completely destroyed me. But at the back of this it says, but love's supposed to hurt, isn't it? And I just feel like this book is really gonna hit home hard for me and I'm, so far I'm really enjoying it. I wouldn't say that it is the author's best writing. I, I feel like, I, I, it's been a long time since I read Asking For It, but I feel like I enjoyed the writing of that a lot more, but I am, enjoying the actual story and the plot of this so far. I'm really invested in it and I cannot wait to see where it goes. Aoife from Fred Weasley Dies, Died Laughing, who's one of my favorite booktubers. We actually met when I was in Ireland a few years back after leaving Spain. 
she's just finished it she absolutely loved it she couldn't put it down so i'm really excited to get more into it and just be able to talk to her about it go check out her channel i'll leave it in the description box down below and let me know what you're going to be reading this weekend i hope you all have a really good weekend and i'll talk to you soon oh and happy saint patrick's day dudes i'm reading an irish book on the weekend of saint patrick's day Mm-hmm. that's how i roll i'll see you guys next week cheers